Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Lawmakers just dismantled Dems, restore major American right effective immediately. For eight years, former President Barack Obama disregarded and destroyed all that is sacred to our country, and got a lot of liberal lawmakers on board with this plan to dismantle America piece by piece. President Donald Trump has worked diligently to put it back together and has just a masterful job in doing so. However, Democrats weren't ready to relinquish the control, even after having lost so much of it, and have been fighting for months over one major decision, which they just lost. Republican lawmakers succeeded in defying their liberal counterparts over the one major demand that's most important to them. Now, Democrats will be reminded of the defeat every time they see huge signs that will now be going up everywhere after the newly approved rule that's effective immediately. While this may not be the final piece to the puzzle to put our country back together again, it's most certainly the biggest as all else hinges on it. One of the key elements to destroying our Christian nation was to remove God from every facet of society. Obama succeeded in doing that under the guise of separation of church and state, which ultimately proved to only apply Christianity, which was often replaced with other beliefs taught in classrooms, such as Islam and even Satanism. Bibles were not allowed in classrooms, In God We Trust was removed from the Pledge of Allegiance recited daily, and students who silently prayed from their desks were punished for it. The rapid and continual moral and behavioral decline in society that ensued was no coincidence. More shootings occurred on campuses since then, which was always, and still is, blamed on the weapon rather than the root of the issue. Where God isn't allowed, evil flourishes. The state of Florida has seen this firsthand in the aftermath of the Parkland, Florida school shooting, and were quick to make an important decision that's long overdue and has nothing to do with guns. Orlando Sentinel reports what lawmakers in their state just made mandatory in every classroom. Every Florida public school would need to display in God we trust in a conspicuous place, under a bill the legislature will soon send to the governor's desk. The requirement, which had passed the House last month, had looked DD in the Senate. But then it was added to a separate, lengthy and controversial education bill, HB 7055, that both chambers approved Monday. If Governor Rick Scott signs the 207-page proposal, all public schools, and any other buildings used by local school boards, would need to display in God we trust, the state motto. The measure was sponsored by Rep. Kimberly Daniels, who runs a Christian ministry. This move against the liberal left is well played since they have spent the last three weeks since the shooting demanding something be done to stop these attacks. Their argument almost entirely surrounded GS and ignoring the Second Amendment. However, disregarding our God-given constitutional rights doesn't make Americans safer. These lawmakers just proved the importance of the document our forefathers created based on the foundation in which our Christian nation was built on. Bringing God back into the classrooms is the first step in preventing these atrocities from happening. This motto is inscribed on the halls of this great capital and inked on our currency, and it should be displayed so that our children will be exposed and educated on this great motto, which is a part of this country's foundation, Daniels said when asked about the bill, HB 839. Something so great should not be hidden. In God We Trust has been part of Florida's state seal since 1868 and on the state flag since 1900, but has been the state motto only since 2006, according to the Florida Department of State, Orlando Sentinel explained. What's particularly impressive, is that Daniels, who sponsored the bill, is a Democrat and wasn't afraid to go against the biased beliefs of her party to do what she truly recognized was right and missing. This is true politics, the way that it was supposed to done, to better citizens in our nation not make decisions or take stances simply to be divisive and combative. Naturally, not everyone is so understanding or really cares about solving problems and restoring communities as Daniels is. A Monroe County mother in Florida who belongs to the education advocacy group called Common Ground, complained that the bill is unnecessary and too costly to taxpayers. It's a comical assertion from a liberal since Democrats have proven to never care about dolling out tax funds by the handful to a long list irrelevant and unimportant causes. The upset mother-slash-advocate lawmaker should not take up bills that fail to address real issues in education and waste taxpayers' dollars and time. Sure, there will be a nominal cost to schools' districts to display this motto, but is nothing compared to the cost of life by keeping it off campus. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.